Welcome to the showcase, baby. The showcase. Welcome to the showcase. I wanted y'all to give a round of applause for the creator and actor of the Drop My series, Christopher Williams. <laughs> How's it going? All right, good, good, good. All right. Um. So, first off, tell us about yourself. Or well, tell us what's your name and about this film here. Well, my name is Christopher Williams, um, as you introduced me. Um, this is the Dropmon web series. This web series is a spinoff off a short film titled Luther Von Schaft. And, you know, I hear all these success stories of all these web series taking off and stuff, so I decided to take my short film and make, turn it into a web series. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, I know we have some... Um People in the in helped you with the film. Mm -hmm. They're here with us, mm -hmm. so I want you to introduce them, so we can all have a nice discussion on the growth and development of your series. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, one of the actors who plays the villain of the show, uh, G we have Donnie Russell. Also the musician, also the musician, he also the music for the series. Uh, other actor we have, he plays Jay Ghost, Jalen Barber. And, uh, and then my editor and just the man who made sure we all look good is Mohammed Barber. Us. This is yep. this is my drop my family. Okay. <laughs> For me so, so let us For let us know. Let us into the whole scope of drop. -on. Okay. Basically, um, well, I told you to start off as a short film, Luther von Schaff. So the character of Luther, Luther is a hitman. He's a hitman who's you know a paid professional to kill people. So. In this series, the Dropmon, he is offered a job, and he refuses the job. And um, you know, more of the the cast can share more light on that. But um, that's that's really the scope of it. Um, and his title, the Dropmon, comes from that's his kind of AKA um, street okay. street cred cred name because what he does is he um, when he's done. Killing people, he will drop off organs at um, his employers. Oh, okay. I thought because he got to drop on people. Oh. <laughs> that too. That too. Yeah, it all goes hand okay, in hand. Okay. That too. That too. It all goes hand in hand. It all goes hand in hand. But um. And then when he finishes the job, he drops them. That's, <laughs> it. That's, That's it. it. That's, That's it. it. That's, That's it. What it's about. That's what it's about. Yeah. Okay. So, so um, in a little bit, we're gonna see a short uh, clip of the of the feature film, uh, feature series. But just let everyone give their take on the film. Because it's one thing you created in the actor. Right. It's right. one thing you mm -hmm. tell you something about it. Right. Well, I want to hear some behind the scenes stuff, man. I want to hear <laughs> about everything with everything. Yes, um, yes. I so, want somebody else to tell a story. Yeah, so everybody shed light so, on your character. And G Lock, he's the villain. He's the one who gives the orders to the, the hit orders. Okay. So I'll be telling my accomplices to go out and handle, do a job for me. I don't want to give too much on okay. the, tell somebody to do a job for me. And then it just went bad. <laughs> okay. I told him to do a job, it went bad. And then he turned the series, had a turn of events. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good series. It's, it, it has its comedy moments and it's also serious, yeah. so yeah. Uh, yeah, just, you know, just to piggyback off what he was saying, you know, it's 
it's it's it's one of those series that's you know uh, it's an unconventional approach mm -hmm. to it you know um there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things that's mixed in with it like the comedy and you know a little bit of drama and of course it's just non-stop thriller thriller action and uh, my character Jay Ghost you know he's somebody who <laughs> he's he, he's somebody who's very close to the drop mom you know I don't want to give too much away but he's 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 somebody who's who's really close to him in in a personal matter and you know it, it, it gives it gives Luther uh, somebody something who somebody who is now conflicted with what he has to do you know it, it's it's tough on him because now he has to make those decisions just based on my character alone you know I didn't know that somebody was looking out looking you know looking for me or yeah. this that and the third and you know it's it's one of those like, like going back to it, it's just one of those series that's that's very it's new, it's fresh, it's up to date. It's something that not a lot of people can can like. You don't see often. It's different. It's different. Okay. That's the only thing that I can really say about it. Okay. Yeah. What I like about the drop. What I like about the drop mon as the editor of the film. Well, first Chris approached me. I met him um, while doing some promotional stuff for another short film, and. You know, I introduced myself as an editor, and so he hit me up. He's like, "Mo, I got, I got this show that I want to do, this web series that I want to do called The Drop Bond. Um and so he sent me a sh an editing script, not, not an actual. It was, it was a script, and he sent me the footage, and he's like, "Just, just put it together, make it look good." So I'm looking at it, and I'm like, <laughs> "Wow, this is." You know, this 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 reminds me a lot of like old school black exploitation era mm. um, films, but with a modern twist to it, and you know, in in, in not in film but in digital form. Okay. And so I'm a big fan of black exploitation myself. I love Black Caesar, a um, number of other films from the old days. Even though I didn't really grow up in that era. We understand. We understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so. I, did, I had a lot of fun working with it, and I see di I see editor as, as a kind of a a second director in a way, yeah. because they take the footage and they give it their twist, because the director gives them that freedom. Yeah. Um, not too much, but you know. And just enough. Just, just enough. enough. Yeah. So you know, it was it was like it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun editing the drop on. So what what why? Why this type of film? Why this type of short film? I know, I know you said the series is based off of a film. Right. But why, why this? Not the Gummy Bears. Why not mm -hmm. Pete the Dragon? Why, right. why, why not Love and Hip Hop? Why, mm -hmm. why, why this? Why end? this? Well, you know, America as a whole has a thing for the gangster stuff. You know, we love, we love seeing you know, little types of violence. You know, we love seeing that excitement. You know, like, you know, guys with guns up to no good. And, you know, we love seeing those drum, dr dramatizations on film and any other media. So, I know after when I got done doing Luther Von Schaft, people kept asking questions like, you know, they wanted to know more about this guy. Because, you know, Luther Von Schaft is just a six, six and a half little minute piece that I did and it's you know people were very interested they were drawn to him we're drawn to people who do things that aren't morally right and we're drawn to you know people who do things that do things that that are that are wrong but yet there were some moral ethics that were understandable okay. you know mm -hmm. so you know and me, anything that I've done, I like excitement. You know, people people like to be excited. People like to be excited, and I like things that are attention grabbing. So I think the whole Luther character and this web series will do that for people, and 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 you know, and has done it. Is this your is this your first? 
this is my first web series. Okay. Yeah, this is my first web series. You know, I um, it took me a while because I did a lot of short films. Okay. Did a lot of short films after I graduated uh, New York Film Academy, and um, you know, I always thought like, oh my god, doing a web series that that, that must be hard. That's a lot of time. You got to balance out time and time and time because I was involved in two web series a few years back that have unfortunately not seen light and day yet. <laughs> you know we've all been there <laughs> right we've all been yeah. there as actors and, and performers you know we have not seen the finished product of our work mm -hmm. but um but yeah um this was my first my first web series and um you know i really wanted to um you know to to really put in work for it you know i um i acted in it i wrote it produced it i wrote and rapped the theme song you know, I'm not really a rapper, but I did it for I did it for this one this one song. So I said, you know what? No, if I could do it then I could do it now. Look, if you could kill people, you could kill a beat. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's, That's right. That's about. right. You could kill a beat. I like that. That's right. That's right. So, you know, um, but um but no, I've had I've had fun, you know, we're continuing to have fun. Yeah. Um, you know, we just dropped the episode Friday. Okay. Um, it's already got close to a hundred views. Yeah. Um, so you know, not too bad for you know our yeah. first time dropping a, dropping an episode. So yeah, um, it's gonna be three episodes. So it's a little, it's a mini web series, okay. so to speak. But um, but yeah, we're just you know everyone is doing their part. All these guys are doing their part by promoting it and stuff on their Instagram and on their Snap and stuff. And um, yeah, I want people to watch it. You know, watch it, subscribe to the channel, love it, hate it, comment, all that. One thing I like about it too is that because it's because it's it's condensed into the certain time time aspect of six minutes it automatically the action the excitement hits you right then and there mm -hmm. you know that way people because a lot of people have like you know short attention yeah. span and you know some people like if it's five minutes are over I am, I'm, I'm a lose I'm a lose touch I'm a lose interest so what, what I like that Chris has done is that he's he's made he's made this this project where it automatically you're in, enthralled in in the action in the story in the plot line so you know you you as soon as you as soon as it comes on it's like wait what's what's going on what's happening now mm -hmm. and then once that happens cuz we're you know we're it's 6 minutes you know we're doing that what about two more episodes mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. for it for the series yeah. but that's going to make people be like yo I want to see more I would love to see more. I would love to see it drawn out. You know, some people may want it. Oh, you know, I want to see a little bit more because now, now you have you piqued their interest. Now you have their attention. Well, on that note, we're gonna take a brief time out. We're gonna view the film, and then we're gonna come back, uh, give your takes on it, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna close out. So, ladies and gentlemen, the drop my series. Huh? Look what he did to you. Look at this. And I'm supposed to be okay with that? You are my woman. I will kill for you. You and her. You got a life in there. My little girl is in here. My firstborn. Y'all my family. I will never let anything happen to y'all. I love you. Father, forgive us, for we know not what we do. Lord, forgive us for falling for the vile ways of the flesh.
All right, we back. Um, you know, that was that was that was hot. So you know, besides this, Great. Mm-hmm. what else you guys gonna go? Oh, well, besides this, I do want to do another web series. Um, I've actually I shot some of it already. Um, it is called The Healer. Um, it's gonna be sci-fi. I won't really tell the plot right now, but uh, it's gonna be sci-fi. So you know, it's gonna be for the sci-fi audience. Okay. Um, you know, every every show in every you know me, little media web series has have their own audience. So you know, for this, if people are into you know you know violence and action and you know, urban elements, then they would enjoy this. Yeah. People that are into, you know, Star Wars and space and, you know, f- you know, science fiction and fantasy, they would like the healer. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I, you know, right now I'm kind of just web series hungry and just doing some, you know, want to do more, want to do more of my own brand. Okay. Yeah. As y'all know, I'm an artist. Um, my mixtape is dropping me and my, somebody who else is in my group. Um, his name Mike Bowery. We're dropping a joint mixtape in June. Mike was also in the drop on too. Yeah. You'll see him in further episodes. Um you can check me out on Instagram based on the official B A S E D O N N I E official and Snapchat based on you. So and you can find out more. Oh uh, man. <laughs> uh well, I just finished shooting a pilot called Deliver Our Love. It's a new series coming soon by uh, directed by Taekwon Pew, Prophecy Films. Shout out to them. Um, I actually got I do theater as well, so I have a play coming up called Deliverance, uh, directed by Dara Bragg. Um, I'm actually going to be doing hopefully uh, Strawberry One Act Film Festival, St- Strawberry One Act Festival this summer, upcoming summer with a, a production called More, which is a faith based production. Uh, written and directed by Sean at Hamilton Robinson. I didn't forget you. I told you I was going to shout you out. She wanted me to shout out, but it's all good. <laughs> and, um, you know, just starting to get into my own, doing my own thing, uh, trying to start my own production company, you know, uh, film production, media content, and, you know, just trying to reach for the stars and whatever I do. Um, I'm, <clears throat> I'm also a photographer and cinematographer, so, you know, I do that on the, on the side as well. You can find me on uh, www.morabani.com and my Instagram is mo underscore rabani. I'm currently working on getting out my film, my short film that I shot last year, Tom Freeman of the North. It's a uh, it's a mockumentary about about topics such as internalized racism, gentrification, you know, and displacement and all that, and uh, I'm telling it in a comedic format. It stars um, actor Lex Demon and Milan Stossel. Lex plays Tom Freeman, who's uh, who's the, who's the lead character. He he has this issue with uh, internalized racism, whereas his brother, he he's the complete opposite, and he's trying to empower his his older brother. Um, it's a fantastic film. It's going to be showing at CUNY Film Festival on April thirtieth and uh, April 29th and April 30th and I also submitted to a number of other film festivals hoping it'll get in. Oh, one more thing. Um, for all upcoming singers, artists, actors, I'm actually doing, uh, I'm actually starting these events to get people out there, underground artists, actors and everything. Um, when you add me on Instagram or Snapchat, just send me a DM saying that you're interested in being a part of it. And it's gonna be starting around June, summertime, when we're really gonna be pushing forward and getting a lot of people involved. So you're gonna hear a message from me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. Also, um, sorry guys, also um, the show's Instagram, uh, The Drop Mon, um, just The Space Drop Mon, yeah. um, to look the show up and to follow it on Instagram. Oh yeah, and I, I forgot to plug my Instagram as well, at <laughs> Jalen Barber, the artist, all when all one word, no underscores, no spaces. And I forgot to mention that Chris Williams is in Tom Freeman of the North. He actually has this fantastic scene that lasts about a minute long. It's quite memorable. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you, Mo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great actor. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, 
um, once again, thank you for having us on the show. Thank you for having us. And um, hopefully we get the link up soon. Yes. Some link. That's <laughs> Rashid from the showcase. Uh, we're gonna go to another commercial break, and on the way back, on the second half of our show, we have a fabulous band, and we're gonna let you interview. We're gonna interview them, have you have them play. I'm not gonna give you too much, and I know you guys have been waiting. Thank you for your patience. See you in a few. Quantum Split, and this song is called Say What You Have to Say. It's important that you stand up for who you are and what you believe in, so we're spreading that message. Time to break the ties to bind. 
is on when I get on the microphone. Been rapping for years, but by most of them hardly known. Your pop to their ears and attack of the clones. I might as well programmed like a man drones. This is my old to living upright. Since a teen, Pastor King is my way of life. The religion of peace is my God and light. So by times I think over the rhymes that I write. I'm not perfect, but I'm striving to be. I realize the grace, the hardest, the struggle inside of me. The fight to get my gent to submit internally to avoid the perils and pitfalls of society. Invited by Rashid to bless this beat. There's no limit to where my voice may reach. This message is for all. Hope they feel it in the street. See, I started MCing back when lyrics were deep. Yeah, 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 yeah